Hi, I'm Jeremy Bumble, and this is my father. He was the greatest scientist I knew, and when he died, I made him a promise. I promised I'd teach the world everything that he taught me. Why? Because science is everything! Hello! When I was young, computers were the thing of science fiction. And now look at me, typing away like I was William Gates. <laughs> you are my best friend. They seem friendly enough, for now at least. But at the rate at which computing is advancing, who knows what they'll be capable of in the future? But what if there is no future for computing? Let me explain. Kill, kill, kill. In 1965, the co-founder of Intel, Gordon Moore, made a prediction that computing power would double every 18 months. So far, his prediction has been proven true. But how long can this trend continue? Hello. Well, first you'll have to learn a little bit more about what's at the core of current computing power, the humble transistor. Today's computers use billions of transistors, all neatly arranged onto tiny microchips, like this one. But how on God's green earth do they work? So transistors are made from silicon. A transistor has three elements on this silicon, a source, a drain and a gate and we apply a little bit of electricity onto the gate. It affects the conductivity and basically we connect the source and the drain together like a switch. To make more and more of these transistors on every piece of silicon, we have to make them smaller and smaller and smaller. And that means the gap between the source and the drain becomes smaller and smaller as well. This, however, is also the problem. Why? Because size matters. There will come a point where they can't make that gap any smaller, so they won't be able to fit any more transistors in. And using Moore's law, we can predict that this could happen in as little as 10 years. So, will that spell the end for computing? Don't, Don't be stupid. stupid. Scientists all around the world are working on new and exciting ways of computing. Quantum computers, spin wave computers, optical computers, and DNA computers. Computers that might spell the end for Moore's law, but will herald in a whole new era of advanced technology. They aren't ready yet. But what I would bet on is that science will once again save the day. Although I do not condone gambling, not even if it's science-based gambling. So, thanks computing and thanks Moore's Law. Go science! Start secret. Help me! Prepare yourself, world, because as if there weren't enough close ups of wrist action on the internet, there's about to be a whole lot more. Oh, look, I'm waving to you. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs>